Hi, I'm Stacy. I am the um, 4-H educator and the FCS educator in Osage County, and I'm here with... I'm Cheyenne. I'm the Osage County, Osage Nation uh, Ag and 4-H Youth Development Educator. And today we're going to do an experiment with some candy corn and the different kinds of liquids. We have vinegar, we have milk, we have oil, and we have water. Um, at this point, um, we have taken our candy corn, We've already put a piece of candy corn in each glass. So teachers, now would be a good time for you to go ahead and pause the video, um, develop a discussion with your kids of what they think is gonna happen to each candy corn. Um, do they think it's going to sink? Do they think it's going to float? Will it dissolve? Will it change colors? Um, those are the things that at this point you might pause and have the discussion with your kids about. Okay, we're back and we have taken our candy corn out of all the different liquids that we've had it in. Um, obviously different things have happened to them. So we're gonna show you a little bit of what has happened. So we're gonna have Cheyenne start with the vinegar and tell you what happened in our vinegar. Okay, so the candy corn that we placed in the vinegar, it split into two pieces and it made it, it didn't make it any softer, but it did split, um, and melt it a little bit or dissolve it. And then in the milk, it dissolved the end of it, but it's still pretty, uh, actually it's pretty soft. Um, and it took away a lot of the color as well. And in the oil, as you can see, nothing really happened to the candy corn at all. It still has all three of its colors on there. It's still very hard. Um, none of the color disappeared or anything like that. So. Nothing happened to the candy corn that's in the oil, but the candy corn that was in the water, um, it dissolved quite a bit. It's actually in two pieces as well. Um, most of the color had come off and it's very small. Um, it's a little squishy too. So it kind of had similar properties that the vinegar had to it. And as you can tell, um, the water and the vinegar did change colors after the pumpkins had been in there. We left our, pump, or our candy corn in there for about 12 minutes, about yeah. 12 to 12 and a half minutes. Um, so as you can see, that's what's gonna happen. Um, hopefully your candy corn as well. Um, at this point, that's the, our experiment. So teachers, if you'd like to lead your discussion on why your students think that that happened, was it because it was water soluble and not oil soluble? Was it the acidity and the vinegar? Those are some things that you might discuss with some of your students. Um, but we appreciate you joining our video and we hope you enjoyed.